Hi, I'm Oliver Goodbrod, an authorized CUTE trainer from EGITS. Welcome to this learning video based on material taken from the CUTE Essentials training course. With these videos, we will be giving you the key insights into CUTE, as well as demonstrate the type of in-depth training available in the classroom-based CUTE Essentials training course. So if the user wants to edit the item data, how can we do that? So let's take a look at a small editor at Delegate. For instance, we would like to provide a cucumber box for editing a series of values. So on the right side, you just see a small example on this cucumber box displaying some country strings. Therefore, we can derive our country delegate from QItem delegate and overwrite some functionality. Like the function create editor to create an instance of, your, of our editor. Then we like to set the editor data and set the data within our model. And finally, we will notify about the updation of editor geometry. How can we create our own editor? We can just call the country delegate create editor function to create a new editor of type cucumber box and add the specific country strings into the combo box. Whenever the user wants to edit the country we have to set the correct country string in our combo box. Therefore, we have to set the correct editor data. So first of all, we get a pointer to our combo box and just set the correct index within our combo box. So, whenever the user finishes editing, we have to submit the data to our model. So therefore, the set model data will be invoked and we have to set the correct data to our model. So if the editor has finished editing, we have to emit the signal commit data, which copies the editor's data to the model. And then we have to emit the close editor signal so that the editor will be closed. And you can also specify a hint what has to be done next. Updating the editor's geometry. So how can the delegate manage the editor's geometry? Therefore, we have the update editor geometry function where you can just set the correct geometry of your editor. In case of a multi-index editor, you can just position the editor to the correct relation to your indexes. How can we set the correct delegate on the views? So here are three examples how we can do that. We can just call the set item delegate on the view. Or we can specify a set item delegate for a specific column or a specific row in the third example. We can also create type-based delegates. So let's say if you have a specific type of data, for instance here in this example a color, you can just define your own delegate editor for colors. So in this example we register an editor for the type QVariant color. So everything which is of this type will use this editor. And here is the sample code on how to create a type-based editor. So first we create a factory with new QItem editor factory. Then we create a new QStandard item editor creator. And we register this editor within our factory. We specify the Q variant color 
that it applies to this specific type and this creator will be invoked. Then we just call the set default factory and all cells of type Q variant color will use this editor. So if you have installed Qt on your computer, you will find in the Qt examples item use the color editor factory example. We hope you enjoyed this session of our Qt Essentials training. For the full experience, including labs, Q&As and additional info, we recommend you to attend the full multi-day Qt Essentials training course available from EGITS or any one of the Qt training partners. For full details, check out qt.nokia.com. Thanks for watching.